Hi, my name is Michael. In this video, I'll talk about the ways to prevent too much destruction because of earthquakes. For all types of calamities, except for this type of calamity, we must always have a bag full of things needed for survival. That bag must contain water or what the canned food, whistle, battery operated radio with extra batteries, it's all chapel, batteries not included, flashlight, money, first aid kit, and important documents. Make sure to put the bag where you can get it easily during the times of calamities. Earthquake occurs when two plates move suddenly in relation to each other along a fault line. Tectonic plates move because of the high viscous asthenosphere that is part of the upper mantle. So what are P waves and S waves? P waves or primary waves are the first shakes that occur during an earthquake. It is faster than the S waves. It only lasts for a few seconds. It travels on both liquid and solid, so it's not so much destructive to the people on land because the energy is distributed to the seas and oceans. After the P waves, the S waves attack. It is the destructive one. It only travels on solid. S waves occur minutes or hours after the primary waves. So we still have time to prepare for the bigger one. Let's move on to the ways to prevent destruction. Ensure that the materials used in the house are strong and also make sure that the house is built by professional workers. Also make sure that the house have fire exits. Let's say we are experiencing earthquake. What do we do? Drop, cover, and hold. Don't run for your lives. It will just kill you. Rocks and other hard things may hit your head and leave you unconscious. Go under a sturdy table and stay there forever. Haha, <laughs> no. Stay there until the shaking stops. If you're stuck, don't panic. Because the first thing that the rescuers check are the tables. If you're in a car during an earthquake, stay inside the car. If in a building, do not run down the fire exit during the earthquake. Cause it's for fire. Aha, uh -huh, no. Don't go down the fire exit until the shaking stops. Stay under your office desk. Do not stay on doorways even though doorways are strong and the most commonly the last one standing after the earthquake. Remember, you are not as thin as the doorway. Rocks may hit you and even electric wires. If nowhere else to go, it is better to stay against a wall because it provides protection from one side. Walls won't fall like this. But stay away from walls that have picture frames or bookshelves. When calamity strikes you, it's never too late to start over again. If our preparation wasn't enough, it's okay. That's why we make mistakes, for us to learn. But sometimes, a single mistake isn't enough. We make another mistake. If that happens, it doesn't mean there's no more chance to rise back up again. It only means that you haven't learned enough from your experiences. And that's why I am here, to give you tips and what to do to lessen the destruction from calamities like earthquakes. Once again, this is Micah. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.